With this integration, your viewers can now control your Spotify. The only requirement is access to a PC or a Mac and Spotify Premium. So let's go through the steps to set this up. But before we go any further, I do want to give a quick warning about copyright. Theoretically, anytime you play a song on any live stream, the owner of the song could copyright strike your channel. The safest thing you can do is play copyright music such as stream beats, which you hear in the background of all of my videos. But regardless of what music you play, just keep in mind, theoretically, you could get copyright striked, although I think the risks are currently quite low. To set this up, we're using Tickfinity, it's linked in the description, and if you haven't already, head to the setup page and sign in with your email. After you've typed your username into this box here, on the left hand side, scroll down and click on song requests. The first thing we're going to do is link our Spotify Premium with Tickfinity. So we just hit this button here to sign in with Spotify and it will load this page where you just sign in with your usual method. Once you're signed in, just agree to what it's asking for. And after a few seconds, it says Spotify connected in the top right corner. Now, if you get a message down here, which says that it's disconnected, you can try three things. Firstly, reload the Tickfinity website. Also try close and reopen Spotify. And thirdly, make sure you actually have a track playing in Spotify. If you do all those three things, you should successfully get a message here that it's connected with whatever the name of your computer is. So you can theoretically just leave it like that and the plugin would now be working. But there's definitely a few settings we want to check and there's a few overlays we can add to our stream to improve the plugin. We have a quick overview of the different commands here. It's pretty simple. The viewer can type play and then the song name and the artist. And Spotify will try and find the most appropriate song for what they've typed. Then this song is now added to the queue and I've moved to the left hand side because to find the queue, open up Spotify and in the bottom right corner, you see the queue button. Just click on the queue to see what's in it. Anyway, I'm back in the bottom right again to review all the other commands. This revoke one obviously does what it says on the tin, just stops the next song from the queue. Only the person who has requested the song can use this revoke command. And skip lets the viewers skip on to the next track. Let's look at the settings now and I'm actually going to start at the bottom. You can decide who controls your Spotify. You can either let everyone use it, just subs or mods as well. If I head quickly on the TTS page, you can filter by followers and top gifters on this page too. For some reason that's missing on this song request page. I'm sure it will get added in the future. So I think there's two ways of doing this. You either untick all users, so it's a paid feature for your subscribers and you let the mods use it, or you leave all users ticked and then we use the channel point system here to take points off them when they choose a song or skip a song. Now you might be confused about what channel points are, so I'll show you the channel point system in a second. But first, let's just set it up. So I'm just gonna simply take one point when they play and one point when they skip. If you want to allow them to skip songs that other viewers have requested, then tick this one. If it's not ticked, it will only skip songs which you yourself have added to your Spotify queue. The explicit content one is obviously songs which are marked on Spotify as explicit. If you want to be a bit more family friendly, then just uncheck it. I definitely recommend increasing the maximum queue length. It seems like five is the maximum, so I'm going to set it to five and same for a single user. I'll leave the overlay displayed permanently and we'll get to the overlay section later. But first, let's go back to what I talked about with channel points. So I'm taking one point off the viewer when they play and when they skip. But how do you get channel points? Well, there's two ways to do that. Firstly, let's scroll up and click onto the setup page. You can define how channel points are earned here. By default, the viewers are earning one point every time they send you one coin. So if you just put it on this, basically you make half a cent, they get one point. You can also set it to points per chat minute and points per share. And if you're using Tickfinity's actions and events system, whenever you create a new action, if you scroll down a little bit, you can add points or remove points with this section here. I'm not gonna go into way more detail on channel points, but if you wanna learn more about Tickfinity and its channel points, I'll put two guides in the description. You've probably seen the references at the top of the page to the song request overlay and the command info overlay. So let's look at those now. You can either click on the overlay gallery or just click directly onto the link and it will take you to this new song request feature at the bottom of the overlay gallery. Let's quickly just hit test to see what it looks like. It is basically showing you what the viewers have put in the queue. 
So if you're streaming with Live Studio or if you have a stream key and you're using OBS or Streamlabs, we can add this to the screen so the viewers can see it. To do that, let's just hit copy URL and it copies it to our clipboard. And let's start with Live Studio where I just hit add source on the left, choose link, paste it in, and we can set a custom resolution if we want. If not, just press add source. Now I'll show you how to test it in a minute, but first let's add it to OBS 2. So underneath sources, just click the plus button, click on browser. I'll call mine something like song request, press OK, then just paste in the link. I'm also going to scroll down and click shut down source when not visible and I'll press OK. As I said, we're going to test it. So once again, just basically press the test button and you can now see inside OBS or Live Studio what it looks like. It only pops up for a few seconds. I'm sure that'll get fixed pretty quickly. If we hit the customize button here, you can also customize a little bit what it looks like. I'll leave mine on the defaults for now and let's move on to the other one it was linking, which was the command info overlay. And if you add this to Live Studio or OBS, it simply shows the viewers what commands they can type. That includes any non song request type commands that you've got. Honestly, if you don't have any other commands, I think it's simple enough for the viewers to understand. They should be fine without this one on the screen. If you do choose to add this one to the screen, if we scroll down and click on chat commands, then they can type exclamation mark help to pull it up. And just quickly, if you're looking for help to set this up, set anything else up, or if you just want to chat with me, have a discussion, then check out my Fiverr page, which is linked in the description. Now, just a few tips and tricks, suggestions for how to use this. Firstly, if you have a pretty big live stream, if you have a lot of viewers, you definitely either want to give them channel points, like I mentioned earlier, or just untick users, so only your mods and the paid subscribers can use it. As I said earlier, you can assign channel points and charge some channel points. And keep in mind, if you use the defaults from Tickfinity, if they gain one point, it means they've sent you one coin, which earns you half of a US cent. For example, if you want to earn 20 cents when somebody plays a song, then you want to charge them 40 points on Tickfinity. If you want to charge them 10 cents to skip a song, then we want to charge them 20 points. This video was edited using Veed, which is my favorite video editing tool. So check my V tutorial out here. Subscribe if you found this useful and thank you to the channel members, including Nicholas, my platinum channel member. And thanks for watching.